Dental Assistants Dental assistants are vital team members who are instrumental to the success of the dental office. They typically perform a variety of patient care, office, and laboratory duties. They make patients comfortable in the dental chair, prepare them for treatment, and organize their dental records. Nobody wants to be here at the dentist, or very few people do, so we have to deal with a lot of people who are nervous, um, would rather be just about any place beside the dentist. So it is, it's a big challenge every day to make people comfortable and to encourage them to keep on with their good dental health. Dentists rely on their assistants to hand them instruments and materials and to keep the patient's mouth dry and clear by using suction or other devices. They also sterilize and disinfect instruments and equipment and prepare the tray for dental procedures. If a patient has had surgery or other extensive dental work, they may remove sutures and instruct them on post-operative care. Other duties can include preparing materials for making impressions and restorations, exposing radiographs, and processing dental x-ray film as directed by a dentist. Dental assistants should not be confused with dental hygienists who are licensed to perform a wider variety of clinical duties. A lot of assistants start out just doing basic assisting and move on to ETA assisting, which is extended duty dental assisting, Many of them go on to do dental hygiene, and I've known even a few to go on to dental school to become dentists. Dental assistants who have laboratory duties make casts of the teeth and mouth from impressions taken by the dentist, clean and polish removable appliances, and make temporary crowns. If they have office duties, they may schedule and confirm appointments, receive patients, keep treatment records, send bills, and order dental supplies and materials. I think it, more and more dental assistants are being expected to take on more of the responsibilities and more of the actual dentistry that's done. So our, our chores are getting more and more towards the dental side of it as well. And the doctors are really utilizing assistants more than they ever have in the past. If you're going to choose a career in dentistry, specifically dental assisting, it's not always necessary to pursue education right after high school. Many doctors will train you in their office. It's something to definitely pursue. Um, and you can continue on with your education right there in that office. There are plenty of really great dental assisting schools, but much of what we learn, we learn on-job training. Dental assistants generally learn their skills on the job, though many are trained in accredited dental assisting programs offered by community and junior colleges, trade schools, and technical institutes. Most programs take one year or less to complete and lead to a certificate or diploma. Two-year programs offered in community and junior colleges lead to an associate degree. Assistants must be a dentist's third hand. Therefore, dentists look for people who are reliable, can work well with others, and have good manual dexterity. Helpful high school courses include biology, chemistry, health, and office practices. You really should have a very outgoing personality, friendly, you should be able to get along with just about any kind of person, and be able to tackle just about any kind of, of emergency situation that might come along. Um, people come in all different sizes, shapes, colors, and personalities, and you need to kind of be able to bend with all of those as you're working with them. This entry-level occupation provides basic training and experience, and for many, it serves as a stepping stone to more highly skilled and higher paying jobs. Many dental office managers began their career as a dental assistant. Typical job duties include assisting the dentist during treatment procedures, taking x-rays, medical histories, and the patient's blood pressure, preparing and sterilizing instruments, and instructing patients on good oral health care. The average national earnings is $10.40 per hour, or $416 per week, for a full-time position. Many receive medical benefits such as health and disability insurance. Formal training includes graduation from high school, followed by completion of a one- to two-year dental assistant training program in a community college, 
vocational school, technical institute, or university. However, many dental assistants learn their skills through on-the-job training. Certification is available, though not required. Job prospects should be good, as it is not uncommon for dentists to employ two or three dental assistants, and more are expected to be employed to meet the increased workload of dentists. Many opportunities are for entry-level positions that offer on-the-job training. For additional information, you can write to the American Dental Association, 203 North LaSalle, Suite 1320, Chicago, Illinois, 60601.